Alright. Hey fellow YouTubers. Um we've been stranded here. All I have is my camera and my friend here. We were left here with our clothes. See the rocks are even being weathered away here. I'm just forced. Um we were stranded here. Chased by different types of animals. Different things. It's about four in the afternoon. We have really no idea where we are right now. We're trying to be very careful on uh, where we step and stuff like that. But um, we thought we saw um, large creatures roaming this area. See, it gets very deep over here. Oh, never mind. We thought we saw something here. Um, we thought it either went that way, somewhere over there. We're just trying to go around it, try to be safe. There's all different kinds of um, adventures and creatures up in there that you could possibly run into. Um, we just need a spot to sleep for tonight. Um, of course, with all these tweaks and um, everything like that. But um, I was bitten. He was he was bitten by a snake earlier. It was a big, big um, yeah, big things. It wasn't poisonous. Not poisonous, but um, very, very painful. That was, that was over there, right over there, yeah, through those trees. To go back there That's why we um, evacuated back out to these parts of the woods. We need something to food. Yes, we have been very hungry. We've been stranded here for about seven to eight hours. Um, no water, no food. It's been very, very tough. I thought it would never happen to me, but apparently anything can happen. Um, there's lizards and beetles everywhere. She looks, by the way. Right there. There's not a floating leaf, there's a spider web right there. Let's try to get around that, shall we? Maybe there's a bug pot in there. Hmm. Come back around here. Gotta get around this way. See, that, that, those are the surprises we're talking about. The snake was brown, very dark brown, covered in the leaves. We didn't see him until we accidentally um, stepped on his, on his torso. And he jumped up and accidentally um, smacked my friend Ralph right in the, um, the belly, but... Um, we're, tr we're actually trying to catch animals, the biggest ones actually, because they're a good source of food. We have no idea how much longer we're going to be stranded. We look in every single direction. There's no exit anywhere. Anywhere we look, there's no exit, just the woods. So, makes it kind of tough on us. See those bushes, you have no idea what's, what's among those bushes right there. Um. I think um, my friend Ralph is more of an expert at um, climbing and stuff than I am, so I'm gonna let him lead the way. Um, yeah, it, it's tied up right here, so we know someone has been here. Oh, look at that. That is a good sign. That's There's a rope. We're not the only ones here. Oh, shit. Um, wow. Well, I'm trying to um, figure out why in the heck this tree would be tied up. Um, I have no idea at the current moment, but. Or problem solved later. Most likely. Of course, these things are itchy. I see butterfly movement. I thought I saw a butterfly There's earlier. Bottle. We are. We are not. We are not the only population here in these um these vast woods. We have no idea how far they go on for. We have been trying to figure that out for the past seven hours. But we were scared to go any farther than that after the incident with the, um, I think it was a gardening snake. So it had big fangs for a snake such as that one. And my friend Ruffy's picked up a twig, easily snapped in half. Proves that it has been here for a long time. Look at that whopper tree. That's a beauty, ain't it? We saw a shiny lizard earlier. We weren't sure if it was poisonous or deadly. We just um, saw it scamper back into its, its, its burrow. They created for itself right over there. Um, we have no cell phones. We have nothing. Exactly. I don't know if you could hear that because the rattling of the leaves, but we have no cell phones. We have no computers. Just Our only communication is this camera. 
Um, and you guys will be lucky if you ever see this video. And we have no idea when someone will come. But we have no food, no water. We have no television. We have nothing but what do we have right now? See, I have crops. If I knew the situation was going to occur, I would have brought um, shoes, other shoes besides this. There's a little, a little circular, circular um, stick right there in the ground. I wonder what that's going to be for. See, there's no exit, no matter where you go. No, there's, there's no way out of these these massive woods. Anyway, we were kidnapped and just dropped off here. I think I, I we think, are in Texas, but I I don't know. I think I we were know. given um ecstasy or something. I have no idea what's going on right now. Um, I hope we're on the news, but I would never know. Of course, we have no television. Maybe in school we can find our camera. This is 1999. Say, um, maybe this someone can find us. Maybe, maybe later we'll be able to put this on the internet. Maybe, um, we don't know how old we'll be, but hopefully we'll be able to put this on the internet. Maybe notice, maybe. notice it's very low quality because the, um, these cameras are not too, too great. Um, there has to be something down in this box right here. This is from the hurricane that got blown over. This, this should be a good place to sleep for tonight. See right about there, you see that, see that wood in the log? It's hard to see, but it's right over there. It, my camera's getting kind of blurry because all the dust is um, clogging up its lens, but that's where I got bitten, right over there. Well, this is pretty much where we've been stranded. And... And please, if anyone gets this, um, and my parents are still alive, I love you, Mom and Dad. Same for me, um, Thomas and um, Lucy. I do love you. Those, I'm, are, those I'm are my Ralph. parents. Those are my parents' names. I, I love them a lot. And I'm Ralph James. We're going to stop recording, and hopefully we'll get another chance before the camera runs out of batteries. Thank you.